sports SUVs. What's the first car that comes to your mind when I say the word sports SUVs? Maybe a Lamborghini Urus, maybe an Aston DBX, but I'm sure the car that we have today is not on your list. Hi, I'm Venkatesh Kaushik and you are watching Cardelo.com, the premier online marketplace that helps you find the right car at the right price and get the best deal all from the comfort of your house. And for Nam Young, this is the second product from Hyundai's famed R&D division. The Venue N-Line is built on the same K2 platform as its standard sibling but gets retuned suspension and steering that not only helps the car drive better, but also makes it sporty and fun to drive. Let's find out what has changed on the SUV and then I'll tell you if it is worth your money. On the exterior, like with the i20, the venue also gets red highlight accents across the car that emphasize the sporty nature of the SUV. Key changes on the exterior include a new re revised parametric jewel grille that now gets smaller jewel elements and more space among them. Then we have a split design for the skid plate along with a reprofiled bumper. Moving to the sides, we see new design for the R16 alloy wheels along with a new N-line patching on the fenders. The red highlights continue along the side sill and towards the rear. At the back, well, nothing major has changed. We get a new reprofiled bumper that houses the new dual tip sports exhaust and a new skid plate. If you ask me, I personally prefer the i20 N-Lines design changes over the Venue N-Lines, especially with the alloy wheels. Now that you have seen the exterior design changes on the Venue N-Line, let's get in and I'll tell you what has changed in the cabin and if those changes have added anything to the sporty SUV. As expected, the interiors of the Venue N-Line has gone all black with contrast red stitching all around. We get red highlight accents showcasing the sporty theme of the SUV along with red ambient lighting all around. New elements to the cabin include a sports steering wheel with N-line badging and a gear lever. The upholstery is now all leatherette as standard and gets N-line logo inscribed on the backrest. A new addition to the Venue N-line's cabin includes a new dual dash cam that records the outside as well as the inside along with a new drive mode selector that comes with three multiple modes. Excluding these updates, it's a familiar cabin we have seen that consists of a large 8-inch touchscreen that offers Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, power adjustable driver seat, digital instrument cluster and an electric sunroof. Despite being based on the top of the line Venue standard model, the N-Line misses out on air purifier that is available on the standard model. Enough of this cosmetic chit chat, let's get on the road and find out if the mechanical changes have made a major difference to the ride, handling and driving characteristics of this SUV. So coming to the powertrain options, Unlike the standard model that comes powered by two petrol and one diesel engine option, the N-Line is offered with only a single 1-litre turbo GDI petrol engine that produces roughly around 118 bhp and 172 nm of torque. This unit comes mated to a 7-speed DCT gearbox that gets paddle shifters for added control. While the power figures hasn't changed from the standard model, what has changed is the steering geometry and the suspension setup. The steering now gets more heft and feels connected to drift. It responds well to direction changes and gives more confidence to the driver. While the suspension stiffening has helped reduce body roll and make the car more engaging to drive through the twisties. In addition to this, the company has also provided the car with four disc brakes to enhance the safety and also increase the stopping power when going fast. 
The changes to the suspension and steering have made the Venu N-Line a very fun to drive car and confidence inspiring machine that you can take to the twisties and tackle them with ease. So all these changes have made this a better package than the standard model. So at 13.15 lakh X showroom Delhi is the Hyundai Venue N-Line N8 DCT worth its money. Yes, the car is almost rupees 65,000 more expensive than a similarly specced standard Venue. But according to us, the updates given to the car in terms of chassis, suspension and the steering work well. They give you confidence when on the twisties and also make you get stable on the highways. So in our opinion, the Venue N-Line is worth its price tag. But let us know what you think about the Hyundai Venue. Until next time, stay tuned to Carlelo. We'll get you the best automotive content. And for any queries, visit our website www.carlelo.com where we have a broad catalog of 30 brands and almost 220 models for you to select from. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh.